Hello, welcome back. Today's project is replacing the brake fluid in my 2014 R1200GS. Uh, the project's exactly the same for our R1200RT, the water-cooled version. Uh, to make this project easier, I've purchased some, project, some products from Speed Bleeder. So for the rear valve, we're going to replace it with an SB1010S. And for the front, uh, front right is an SB8125L, and the front left is an SB6100. Uh, this makes the project much easier, certainly a one-person job. I also purchased a bleeder bag and uh, extension hose, makes, uh, just makes it a less messy project. You'll need a fresh uh, bottle of DOT4 brake fluid. And of course, you must have a GS911. Uh, you may ask, why do I need this? What this allows you to do is activate the um, uh, ABS pump inside the brake system to make sure you flush out all of the brake fluid and the air bubbles uh, while you're going through the process. So uh, it's an easy project. So let's go get to it. Okay, we're going to remove this uh, this side panel here with a T25 screwdriver. This us uh, allows this allows us to get access to the uh, the port that we need to. There we go. We are going to connect our uh, cable for the GS911. Um, there is a black arrow right here. And then it just tightens on. And then the GS911 plugs in. All right. There we go. Let's take a rag and get us around here so we can work in this area without brake fluid. We will probably have some leak out. All right, remove our little cap. With an eight millimeter open end wrench, I'm just gonna take off this nipple. It's easy. See a little bit of brake fluid dripping out. I've got my new speed, speed, speed bleeder ready to go in. Right. Made in America, so it's not metric. This is one quarter inch. Get this in. Okay, just hand tight. Move over to the right side, do the same thing. We'll get us a rag around here to protect us from any spills that happen. All right, take off our cap. Also an eight millimeter. Unscrew this and have my new one ready. Right side requires uh, 5 sixteenths instead of a quarter inch. Okay. All right. Give us some. Um, room here so we don't leak everywhere when we replace this. Uh, we are working on the rear, so it requires an 11 millimeter. Let me get this cap off. I should not really need the cap off. Okay. Uh, 
That's out, new one's in. This one is seven sixteenths. All right, speed bleeders are added. Here we are at the GS911 software. So we're gonna select an R series, R1200, R, uh, let's see, R1200 GS. Here it is right here. Okay, turn the ignition on. Don't have to start the bike, just turn the ignition on. Okay. Anti-lock brake system, service functions. We're gonna select the service function drop down list, bleed brakes. We're gonna run the function. And here it is telling us, says, the service function will bleed the brake system according to the following steps. Follow the mechanical bleeding process according to the repair instructions. Tighten the bleed screw. The pump will be flushed to remove air bubbles from the pressure modulator. Flush one. Perform another bleeding process according to the repair instructions. Tighten the bleed screw. The pump will be flushed a second time to remove resi residual air bubbles from the pressure modulator. Flush two. Perform a, perform a third bleeding process according to the repair instructions and tighten the bleed screw. So once we're ready to go, we will do flush one. So, uh, all right, open up the rear brake reservoir. Take out the diaphragm. So when I bleed the brakes, we'll bleed it down from max to min uh, each time we'll do that on the back we'll do the same thing for the fronts let's attach the hose to my bleeder bag okay open this a quarter turn About a quarter turn. And lead the brakes down. Tighten up. Top off the rear. Over here on the left side front. Open up a quarter turn. There we go. And
All right, after we bled the first side, we'll add us back up to max. Okay. <clears throat> Attach the bleeder bag. Open a quarter turn. And we'll bleed it down to the min level. up now it's time to run the first flush now that we've bled all three brakes let's go ahead and do flush one opening up is telling to activate the brakes After we've bled the brakes a second time, we will continue to flush two. Uh, I won't do this step on video. And after that, we bleed the brakes one more time and tighten everything down. Pretty simple. All right, well, there you have it. Not a bad project. It certainly seems more uh, challenging uh, than it really is. Uh, you're supposed to repla uh, 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 replace the brake fluid after the first year you own your motorcycle, and then every other year. Again, these uh, valves by Speed Bleeder make the project so much easier. Truly a one-person job. And of course, you need the GS911, uh, as we talked about in the very beginning. So again, thanks for joining. I hope you learned something, and uh, I hope you'll tackle this project by yourself. Thanks, everybody.